Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. First myth of today's episode is... I got one. This is a bug, not a myth. One, go up to the female delinquents. Two, get really close to one of them so that she would push you. Three, while she is pushing you, press tab to fall down the clumsy way. Make sure you press it before she finishes pushing you. Some weird shit will happen. Okay, I'm gonna debunk that one right away because as you guys can see, at the time you are watching this, I am playing the June 18th, 2016 build. The tab key to fall down the clumsy way is no longer in the game. I'm pressing tab right now. She is not falling down. Yandere Dev said that was not supposed to be in the debug build, so he fixed it and took it out of the June 15th, 2016 build but just for shites and geigles let's just see what it would look like if we did that myth in the june 15th build all right guys here we are in the june 15th build we can now fall over like that clumsy little fucks we are we're gonna fast forward time a little bit and we need to fall clumsily when want, we're in front loser? of the female delinquent so let me see if i could time this right there you go. oh what the fuck whoa what in the fuck what? hold on can I do that to every single female delinquent? Let me try that. Push you. Wait. Oh, I think I bugged them out. Damn, that was some exorcist type shit right there. Like her neck and her head turned all the way back. What that neck do, girl? Hold on, let me restart the day and try that again. That was sick. Okay, I restarted the day. Let's try this one again. Let's try it with this girl with the doo doo brown hair with the green shit stain at the front. Let me do it, and boom! She's gonna turn her head. Oh my god, that is sick and fucking twisted. Can I take a picture? Ah, oh, I'm gonna see if I can snap a picture because I want that for the record books. I want a photo. I want an Instagram photo of what? this girl with her head all the way turned back. Whoa, what the fuck? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Oh shit, what the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna try to put her head back. Whoa, that is fucking creepy. Okay, come on, oh shit. What that neck what? do, girl? Got that flexible neck. There you go. Ah, oh, damn, I'm trying to get it to work. Okay, there you go. She's slowly turning that head. I'm and... Ah, oh, okay. Let me try to... Whoa! Let me wait till it... Fuck! I'm trying to get the perfect moment. Hold on. Are you looking Turn for that trouble? head... Ah, damn it. Okay, go back. <laughs> Fuck! It's harder than it looks, guys. And that's what he said. So go forward, and then that neck is going to turn all the way back, and then... Ba bam! Fuck. Okay, you know what? You I'll just put it in are? cinematic, and then I'll... Yeah, there you go. Her head is permanently turned backwards, guys. There you go. Run that along. is what the bug was telling They're me to do from the June 15th build but I'm debunking it because it is no longer available in the June 18th, 2016 build and beyond because Yandere Dev never planned for the tab key, you know, where you fall down by yourself. He never planned for that to be implemented into the game. So that is officially debunked. On to the next one. Wait, wait, wait. I got a better angle, guys. So you have to go around her and fuck. Okay, wait. Go around. Who do you think you are? There you go. There you go. Oh, shit. She snaps her head back in place instantly. It's kind of weird. There you go. There you go. Yeah, she's fucking wizard, Harry. There you go. Okay. You know what? You guys know what I mean. If you want her to spin that head back, just try the June 15th build. On to the next one. Scram, loser. Can you set Titan Kokona on fire? Okay, that should be an easy one to do. All we have to do is disable copyright because I don't want to get flagged. And then let's go into Titan mode, which is T! Of course, T for Titan. And also, we have to get some cigarettes from Infochan. So let's do that right now. And need? drop the box yes. of matches. And I also need to get that gasolina. Okay, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to wait until about 7.30ish till Kakona takes her phone call. And then I'm gonna trip over an imaginary pebble and then I'm gonna douse her in gasoline 
throw the match, get my Kobe on, set her on fire, and let's see if that works. If I can't douse her from the ground floor, like right here, and then I trip and fall with the gasoline here, I'm going to do this again, and I'm going to try it on the roof where Midori is, and see if I can get Kakona from there. But right now, we're going to fast forward time and wait for Kakona to make her phone call. What the fuck? It's almost 740. Where is Kakoni at? She better not still be mingling with her other friends. Wait a minute. Where is she? Where is that purple tornado hair? Oh, there she is. She's right there in the middle of all her friends. So I guess once they're Titans, she can't be alone, huh? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find her foot. She probably has the biggest, stinkiest feet, so it won't be that hard to find. She's in that group, so if I just douse her in gasoline and just throw it in this crowd, she'll be soaked. So let me try it. Catch it, bitch! Yes! Got her! Got her! What is this? Okay, so she's gonna run towards the locker room. I'm gonna wait for her to come over this way. And let me actually see a Titan doused in gasoline. There you go. I can kind of see her. She's trying to run. Let me just actually get the box of matches now. And then I'll set her on fire in front of all of her friends. That is going to be some crazy shit. Okay, guys. Get ready. Because this is going to be intense. Let's throw this at her big pinky toe. And let's see. Oh, what? Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, it's missing. What the hell? Okay, from here. Nope. That's not working. Okay, maybe I need to go on the roof and make this work because obviously the matches aren't getting to her. She is over there by my waifu's railing. So this shouldn't be too hard. Oh, wait, no. She's kind of like in the middle. The match won't go that far. Oh, yeah, I think it's going to make it. I think it's going to make it. No! Fuck! Okay, let me see if I can get it on her ass. This is going to be crazy if I can do it. It's going to be fucking epic. Oh, there you go. There you go. Perfect! Ah, come on! Get her! Motherfuck. I'm throwing it right at her. The match throwing symbol thing is like pointed right at her. So come on. Yeah, guys, I'm throwing the match right on her, but it's not setting her on fire. This is not good. Might have to debunk this. Actually, guys... I was just thinking about it. Maybe we can set her on fire and then turn on the Titan Easter egg. So let's try that and see if that works. All right, guys, here comes Kakona. Showtime, ladies and gentlemen. Let's trip. There you go. And let's what get those matches over there. This? We got to be quick before she runs. Like... Clutch. Throw it. And oh, yes. Okay, turn on the Easter egg. Boom. Got it. There you guys go! Tie in on fire! Oh, fuck, that is so cool! Whoa! And she's hella running! That's the spice in me, the ball! Kakoni on fire, rolling around! If you guys wanna see epicness, it's right in front of your eyes! And she's turning charcoal black, too! That is so cool. Okay, so you can set a Titan on fire. The gym teacher runs after her, too, which is hilarious as fuck. So that is true. On to the next one. Here's one. Hide behind the randomly placed desk. Teleport to the classroom using the 7 key. You can also try other spots and get up. Sometimes you won't be able to move though. Let's just say that's not the classroom. Okay, I am now here at this random ass desk. Like seriously, this desk is so fucking random. Look, there is no other sign of why this desk should be here, but it just is. It's just here. It's like a pimple on your asshole. You just don't know why it's there, but it just is. So we are gonna go hide right here. And then you guys can see me hiding right here. There you go, little sneaky chan. We are going to teleport to the classroom. And what the, what the hell? <laughs> You're right. This isn't the classroom. This is like a hole underneath the classroom because there, actually, we're above the classroom because there's the little floating pink stuff to go to class. There's our sensei. And then above is another sensei that's not ours. She got that little, you know, shoulder length haircut looking a little cute though, looking a little right. But yeah, this isn't where we're supposed to be. So yes, this is true. Let's try it with other teleport locations and see where we end up. Let's hide behind here and then let's try the occult club. There we go. We are now in the occult club. I actually did something that was pretty cool, guys. I hid behind here, 
and then I teleport to the occult club like so and then I teleport to the classroom and I was actually outside of the school like so so if you guys just want to chill here, you know, smell the wall on the third floor of the school, be my guest. But that is true, you can do that if you hide behind the desk and start teleporting to random teleport locations. Have fun with that guys if you intend to try it, on to the next one. Jay, I think I got one. 1. Splash gasoline on Kokona. 2. As she is running towards the bathroom, kill her when she's still wearing her gasoline covered uniform. 3. Throw a match at her. Will she burn? If so, will she scream? Alrighty guys, we got the gasoline, we got the matches, we got Kakona. So we are gonna get this bad boy started. Let's dump that on her! And then before she even runs this? anywhere, let me pull it's out my like... naifu and then her motherfucking naifu! No, okay, and now the moment of truth. Let's throw a match on her. Been a death at Akademi High School. And we that is not working. Right that blood. So it was you! It was me! What you gonna do about it, Stop bitch? You gonna right come tackle now. me? Oh, fuck! Yeah, she is! Damn it! Okay, I'm gonna have to kill the teacher, and then I'm gonna start flicking matches at dead, doused Kakona, so nobody's interrupting me. Let's try that again. So here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna one punch the fuck out of that teacher, and let's rinse and repeat those steps to try to light a killed Kakona on fire. Here comes Kakona, so let's grab the bucket and let's say fuck it! And she is now doused, so we are going to one punch that ass! And then we are gonna light her on fire, and then we can debunk it or prove it right once and for all. So there you go, perfect target. Throw it on her, and nope! She does not catch on fire, even though the gasoline is still all over her uniform. So that is officially debunked. You cannot set a dead Kakona on fire. On to the next one. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. As of the June 18th, 2016 build, you can now throw a bucket of blood onto Kakona. So maybe we can try to frame her for a murder. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna teleport to the roof. Obviously gonna grab this knife, who put it in her throat. And then we are just gonna mop up the blood and fill it up in this bucket and let's see if we can frame her. So let's mop this up real quick. There you go, Midori. Okay, we now have a bucket of Midori Gurinu's blood. We are gonna pour it on Kakona, but first I'm gonna change out of my uniform because as you guys can see, it is very bloody and I'm gonna dispose of the knife that I used to kill Gurinu. Okay, we have now changed our clothes, so let's dump that. And then let's dump our naifu. And then activate. Aw, oh, shit. People found Midori on the roof. So we're going to have to get Kakona from here. Because we might not have enough time. So, aw, oh, fuck. Damn it, senpai. Why do you have to cock block? Give me this bucket. And then... Triple rub pebble. There you go. Bucket this? of blood. Is this blood? Where did all this blood come from? I don't know, but I'm about to frame your ass, so let's fast forward the day, and let's see if we can frame Kakona. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Midori Gurino. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. The police question Yandere-chan, but cannot link her to any crimes. The police do not have enough evidence to perform an arrest. The police investigation ends, and students are free to leave. Yandere-chan stalks Senpai until he has returned home safely, and then returns to her own home. Alright guys, so there you go. You can now pour buckets of blood on Kakona. If anybody was wondering if you can frame her after you pour buckets of blood on her, the answer is no. You guys just saw it happen right now. So hopefully that answers anybody's questions about that. On to the next one. Jay, now that we can burn stuff, maybe the flame demon will say something different. After all, fire is his thing. P.S. You're that dude! My theory or my answer to that myth is that I don't think the flame demon is gonna say shit because the flame demon is a giant D-bag, but we're gonna try it anyway. We're gonna get the gasoline, set Kakona on fire, and then head to the demon world. Or maybe I set her on fire and then stab her with the ritual knife as she's on fire? Let's see if I can even do that, because I don't even know if you can stab someone as they're on fire. But we're going to try that right now. 
So let's take this ritual naifu, and then I'm gonna use it to stab a flaming kakona. It's kind of like a shrimp on the barbie. You know when all that meat's on the stick? It's gonna be kind of like that. It's gonna be tender, juicy, delicious, and of course, bloody as fuck. Here comes kakona. Let's get this ready. And blah blam! There you go. What is this? It smells like gasoline. Kobe! Oh, hopefully he goes on her. Kobe. Yes, okay. Let's stab her. Yes, I stabbed her! Got her! And then the teacher is gonna be chasing me! Oh my god, those screams. This those screams are scary. Why would go. anyone do this? I'll call the police immediately. Okay, no teacher is chasing There's me. Been a death at I'm gonna put this inside right and let's see what the flame demon says. I'm still sticking by my theory that he's not gonna say anything different, but you never know. A mortal here. How curious. Yeah, same shit he always says. Do you wish to borrow my power? Borrow as in, you give it to me and I never give it back, then yes, I want to borrow it. <laughs> yes, I know, I'm hilarious. You are not worthy. Alright, well fuck you too then. Okay, we are not worthy of his power, so that is debunked. If you set somebody on fire and then go to the flame demon, he will not say anything different. So hopefully that answers your question. On to the last myth of today's episode. Jay, this is creepy. Take a photo of the burning girl and then send it to Infochan. She is not who she used to be. Okay, if you guys are unfamiliar on how to get the burning girl, refer back to my last Yandere Simulator Myths video. But basically, all I did was go into cyborg mode, get the teacher right here to follow me, please, trank her, and then I'll meet you guys in my basement. Okay, y'all, welcome to my MTV crib basement. I got a girl right here, we about to talk to her. Lower down that sanity all the way to zero, and let's find out her secret identity. So as soon as she's on fire, I'm gonna be taking a picture, like so, say cheese, and send it. And what the fuck? Wait. Hold on, guys. That is weird as fuck. The person that's popping up here is Infochan? Or is she not letting me know the secret identity of the girl? Because just because Infochan pops up doesn't mean that it's the identity of the burning girl. That's weird. So let me take another picture. Let's save that one and then take another one, send it. And yeah, Infochan's picture keeps coming up. But let's see if it happens with this girl too. So picture, send. And yeah, Kiyoshi Taiso, she has her own identity. But then you take a picture of this girl, and it's Infochan. That's weird. What's your guys' analysis of that? Like, I'm taking a picture of her, I'm sending it, Infochan pops up with the staticky screen. What do you guys think that means? I don't think it means that Infochan is the burning girl, because obviously that's not the case, because she still is in the school. But it is weird that we're not knowing who this is. I'll leave that up to you guys' imagination, but that's what happens when you take a picture of this burning girl. Infochan pops up like so, so there you guys go. That's gonna do it for today's episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any more comments, questions, challenges, or myths you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below, and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!